Mr. Thompson from the IMF on Greece. They were published yesterday on his uh, IMF blog, where he actually, um, starting a political discourse, he uh, says that the IMF is not advocating for more austerity for Greece, and they want to stick with 1.5% uh, primary surplus for the next uh, couple of years or more. But he doesn't say what are they planning and offering and negotiating about when it comes to uh, the other part of the equation, the debt reduction. So uh, I didn't actually see that very well in his uh, blog. Uh, my question is, did Paul Thompson bring all that stuff in the negotiation process? And how do you feel that uh, someone is so openly uh, revealing everything that's going on behind closed doors if that's what he's doing? And he's still a negotiating partner. Thanks. Annika's ready to Thanks, Athanasius. Um, let me say that we carefully read the blog by the IMF officials that you refer to. Um, the European institutions con consider that the policies of the ESM program are sound and, if fully implemented, can return Greece to sustainable growth and can allow Greece to regain market access. Greece has already impl implemented major reforms under the ESM program and is on track to reach the agreed fiscal targets. It is important that all institutions fully recognize these achievements of the Greek program. And uh, just to give you a bit more of a, a wider answer, let me also say that staff from all institutions are now in Athens in order to reach a staff level agreement on the second review of the Greek program. And given how much progress has already been made, an agreement could be reached soon if all partners engage constructively and the Commission remains committed to doing so. Fonica? Yeah, Catherine? Uh, Catherine, if you're a reporter. Uh, the IMF describe the uh, the measures of further austerity as damaging to recovery and the plan as a whole si as being simply not credible. My question is, you've uh, appointed the members of a European fiscal board. Is this something you could put to them and ask, is the current plan as it stands credible? Thank you. Well, the, the plan has undergone uh, several uh, parts of scrutiny, not least by the uh, Eurogroup and, and, and by um, the other institutions, as well as the European Court of Auditors, which gave feedback last uh, earlier this year. Um, much of this feedback has already been taken into account and is already being addressed. The fiscal board is independent, as you know, and it's uh, completely up to them to uh, decide what they want to look into. Generally, they, um, the, the mandate is to look into the fiscal stance appropriate for individual member states, as well as mostly for the euro area as a whole. Um, but I would say you better put the question to the fiscal board. 